Hello everyone. So in the last video we started uh, talking about linear modeling in which we talked about simple linear regression and in this video today we are going to see what multiple linear regression is and also see uh, its code. Okay, so multiple linear regression uh, has the following equation. You can see it uh, y equals to b0 plus b1x1 plus b2x2 and so on. So over here we are predicting one uh, specific feature and for that we can take a set of uh, various of the variables. Now for example let's say if you want to predict the height now you can predict it based on various factors like let's say weight, uh, there is uh, gender maybe even age and these various factors so when you fit them together into an equation that will be your multiple linear regression and uh, like you can see uh, here b0 is the intercept b1 is the uh, coefficient or the slope for first line similarly bn is for the nth line so taking these uh, different features we can use multiple linear regression so let's move on to the sample Right, so we'll use the same file and in the end probably you can even, if you want, I can share this file with you. Uh, it will contain all the codes. So let us start with multiple linear regression. Uh, this time we won't do any pre-processing because it will just be time consuming if you want to do it or uh, even the exploratory data analysis. You can definitely do it. The commands are all here. Same uh, used as for linear regression. So let us import libraries. Then we have to import a linear model from sklearn. Okay, from sklearn import linear model. And uh, the data set that we've been working on, that is iris data set, uh, we can use that uh, this time as well. And we'll store it just like before and then convert it to a data frame so the column names will be the feature names from this data set and Yes, so far so good. You can see the small green tick. Now we'll just uh, we'll just have to divide it into a predictable variable and the variables that we we'll use. So earlier, like you saw, we have taken x and y. We have taken y as the petal width. That means we were predicting the petal width. Uh, earlier, I uh, accidentally said it's the petal length we are predicting, but we are actually predicting the petal width using the petal length. So that's what we were doing and uh, if you see the coefficient matrix now let us keep the petal width as it is. So if you want to predict petal width you can see the coefficients uh, the correlations uh, with different variables. If you see uh, this one was the one which we used that is petal length. Now we can use sepal length as well since it's like the second best for petal width. So we can use petal length and sepal length and then we can do the prediction. So uh, again, now we'll, this is our target variable. So it was petal width in centimeters and our x, uh, the variables which we are using for the prediction would be and sepal length I hope this is the column name so let us just check right it's correct 
now we'll fit them into the linear model so it's basically the same uh, same command like we did for the previous one let's take a variable and linear underscore model not linear regression so it's same as directly calling linear regression itself and we will train it and let us also print uh, the coefficients that is nothing but the slope of the lines so these are the coefficients that we have received now uh, we'll have to do a prediction so let's say p r e d equals to r e g r dot predict now we have to give two inputs because our x has two features which we are using to predict that is petal length and sepal length so let's say if you want to take petal length uh, something like I don't know 7.2 and sepal length as uh, let's say 6 so using these two we want to predict now we print so let us see what it is predicting so it's predicting 2.733 and we can again uh, like we saw in the previous uh, model for this also we can define a function where we can use the formula that we had that is uh, b1 x1 plus b2 x2 and plus b0 that is the intercept so similarly for this as well let's uh, name it cal c1 so we are going to take slope 1 slope 2 we need the intercept and we need two values x1 and x2 so we are defining this function and simply we will just return slope 1 into x1 plus slope 2 into x2 plus intercept so that's uh, basically it if you wanted to use three features you can do that as well you just have to add a comma and add the third feature here and similarly while defining this function you will take slope 3 and x3 as well and again while returning you'll have to multiply slope 3 into x3 so multiple linear, linear regression is uh, just that where you can take multiple features to predict just one uh, you know one feature one column and this function is fine so now let us just check the score based on this function or the prediction based on this function. So f red equals to calculate. So uh, if you see that uh, there are two coefficients, uh, two regression coefficients, that is two slopes. That's because there's two lines uh, since we are taking two features. So it is pretty simple and it's like an array. So if you want to access the element individually you will have to uh, you do so using square brackets uh, basic python so regr dot coefficient underscore zero so we are going to pass this and we are going to pass the second one that will be one and then we also have to pass the intercept and the two values so we had used 7.2 and 6 so let us try with 7.2 and 6 and we just print this print f thread there is some error all right uh, this is calc1 so our new function the 
uh, old function is named calci that's why I've named this calci1 so now it should work yes so like you can see you can compare it with this and it is exactly the same and in fact this one has given us a uh, higher I mean more decimal to more precision with more decimal places so trying it basically uh, manually also using the equation that we had you will get the same answer uh, there is no difference now once again if you see this code was uh, so small and I'll just add a text over here multiple linear regression so it's not confused so from here we had multiple linear regression I'll also add it on the top where we had simple linear regression simple linear regression so all these codes would be in one file itself and would make it easy so like you can see we just uh, imported uh, sklearn and pandas we basically use only these three lines to these two lines actually to train the model this one to just print the coefficient and for prediction one line so again in just three lines you are training and predicting same thing if you want to do manually you'll have to calculate each coefficient uh, and the intercept and then you'll have to put it into the equation so that is a tedious task so scikit-learn library has uh, reduced this additional amount that we have to put in additional lines of code and it's just taking two to three lines or four lines and giving you the required output so similarly you can also put any kind of uh, different values or if you have an array that you want to predict completely you can use that and for this as well if you want to use any metrics to evaluate the model you can do so you can even do it by r square or rmse and all so all of the metrics can also be done and now one more thing is that uh, if you want to use the regression but your data set also contains categorical values now categorical values basically mean uh, uh, the words basically like strings or let's say when it's divided into categories like something like uh, maybe good bad very good something like that so there are categories but for regression this is using mathematical formulas you can see the multiplication addition and if it is words you cannot directly put it into that formula so in that case when you have categorical values you can uh, use encoding again uh, sklearn provides you with inbuilt uh, functions for encoding as well and there's various kind of encoding that you can do like binary encoding there's label encoding one hot encoding and so on so you can even use those and the library has them all so based on whatever your data set contains you have to make sure that you pre-process it and you do whatever is required and use the best suiting model so like i said for regression if you also have categorical values which you want to use you can encode them and then there'll be a number which you can just simply use it for the formula so that's it about multiple linear regression. We will talk about logistic regression in the next video. Thank you for watching.